You close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And again, each time it comes in, each time it goes out, stay with the breath as much as you can, as consistently as you can. Because consistency is an important quality we have in life. If you're not consistent in doing good, well, it becomes difficult for you to get good results consistently. And we all want a consistent happiness. So we have to make sure that the causes are right. And it's good that we've received these teachings, because it's so easy to look at the world and see that people who do evil can get good results, and the people who do good get bad results. But that's looking in the short term. Over the long term, if you act on good intentions, you're going to get good results. And act on unskillful intentions, you get bad results. It's good that we have this teaching to give us guidance. Otherwise, it would take us a long time to bring things out like this. This is why you have to stop and think that the fact that we live a human life and there's goodness in human life comes from the goodness that other people have done for us. They've gone out of their way. Our parents, our teachers, the line of parents and teachers going way back. We've got the Buddha as our ultimate teacher to point out the way. And we've got our parents to have us give a sense of right and wrong. So it's good that we reflect on that, that we, how much we owe to our parents, how much we owe to the people who've helped us. Realizing this is what made us, our human life a good place to be. And so how do you repay them? Well, one, the Buddha said, with your parents, it's hard to repair your parents. You could carry them around on your shoulders all your life, beating them, wiping off their urine excrement from your shoulders. And still that wouldn't be repaying them for the fact that they've given you life. As for your teachers, they've gone way out of their way to teach you what's right and what's wrong. The best way to repay them on the one hand, the Buddha said, if your parents are not generous people, you try to set a good example so they become more generous. If they're not virtuous, you try to set a good example so they become more virtuous. And of course, you know it's hard for parents to learn lessons from their children. So you have to be very diplomatic in how you do this. But it is an important lesson that this is the best way to repay our parents. But then you think about who's coming after you. You want to set a good example for them as well. This way the goodness of your parents, the goodness of your teachers doesn't die with you as a longer life. As you try to set a good example, you try to be helpful to other people. So think of the fact that you're born into this world and you come with debts. Debts to the people who've given you life and as you grow up, debts to the people who've taught you. And the best way to repay those debts is to take their lessons to heart and set a good example and pass those lessons on to others. This way goodness gets maintained in the human world and doesn't die. And we see what happens around us when people forget what's really good, what's really right. We start getting more greedy, we start getting more angry. Society breaks down because of simple things like this. So whether your parents were wealthy or not, whether they were well educated or not, that doesn't matter. The fact that they taught you goodness, gave you life, taught you goodness should inspire you to pass the goodness along to others. It doesn't have to be just to your children, anybody that you can help. It's in this way that human life becomes a more pleasant, pleasant place to be, a more inspiring place to be. Because if you looked around at people who were just greedy, greedy, greedy all the time, it wouldn't be a good world to live in. It would be a very depressing world. It's because of the goodness that we do that makes it a good place. And you realize that goodness may not come naturally. Sometimes it takes a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice. This is why the Buddha said when you see someone who's grateful, you realize that's a sign of a good person because they realize what goodness is and what its value is. And that it's worth the effort that goes into it to maintain that tradition of goodness for people who come after us. So you benefit and the people who come after you benefit as well. And this way you repay your debts by making sure that goodness continues its long life into the world.